Hello, my beautiful Geminis. Welcome to your love forecast horoscope for September 26th to October 2nd. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys like a personal read with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkers.com, or check out the description box below. Also, my darlings, um, I, I have a new channel, if you guys aren't aware of it, it's called JWZ Mysteries. So what I do is I look at different mysteries and then I find out via tarot, okay, what, what really happened here in this situation? Okay, so my darlings, if you are interested in finding out more about my new channel, all the information is in the description box below. All right, so, so we're gonna be talking about the day to day, the love interest feelings, the block slays and challenges, and the overall outcome. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, my beautiful Gemini's. What's gonna have my Gemini's romantic love life for September 26th to October 6th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Overall energy, wow, it just seems like a theme this week. Okay, so far, I'm telling you, I've seen the same kind of, uh, you know, we've done a come for even so far, so, but yeah, you guys have gone through some tough times here, but now it's about to change. And remember, there's important dates coming up. We are going through a, uh, a new moon, right? We're just getting through the moon moon, actually for some of you guys, and maybe the 25th today. So um, obviously the new moon. And then we are going to be doing the full moon, or the full moon is gonna be happening on uh, October 9th, which is talking about love and healing wounds. And then we got the solar eclipse coming up on October 25th, which is a, uh, a, a partial solar eclipse. And that one's basically dealing with resolving conflict. Okay, it's like a power struggle. So it's interesting because you guys are now aligning and things are changing for you guys. And uh, yes, intuitively, I feel like a lot of you Geminis are very strong intuitively, you're feeling it. You know that there's this opportunity coming in here. Oh, oh my God, Gemini, it looks like it's gonna be a really good one too with the King of Cups energy coming out. King of Cups talks about a, a uh, and kings are stable energy and it's deep love. Okay, so it looks like you may be at a crossroads. So we'll see how it's gonna play out in your reading. We got the 10 of pentacles. We got the King of Wands. We got the Star card energy, another spiritual card. We got another spiritual card. Nine of Pentacles, Knight of Swords. Oh my goodness. Wait, do I tell you about what's gonna about to happen here at the end of the week here? Oh my goodness, okay. This is very interesting. Okay, so we got the Lover's card energy, the Three of Wands, the Queen of Swords, and okay, the Hangman energy. Okay, that makes sense considering. The Queen of Cups. You have the Four of Swords, mm-hmm. Yeah, let me just clarify that one a little bit further. That's what I thought, okay. Yeah, and as you guys see, this quick energy is coming in here. Okay, so you guys are kind of feeling like, all right, you're getting entangled into a situation, okay, this week, and you'll see why in a minute, okay. You're getting entangled in a situation this week, and this is part of the blockage though, okay. The Hangman talks about hindrances, blockages, stagnation, okay. And we see that, um, I feel like you guys are gonna have to make some kind of sacrifice this week, okay? Uh, and you're trying to avoid a situation here because um, there's a person that's really circling you, all okay? right? They're like, Gemini, Gemini, <laughs> okay? That's what I feel like here. And uh, you're like, oh, do I wanna get tied up in this situation? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so let's go further. And Gemini, remember this is going to be for uh, September 26th, September 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, October 1st, October 2nd. Okay, so we're going into October now. It goes fast, right? All right, so it looks like on this day here, some of you guys could be dealing with family, okay? Some of you guys could be dealing with money issues here coming up with the Ten of Pentacles energy. If it's, if it's money issues, it's definitely a good, a good thing here with the Ten of Pentacles coming out. Okay, or there could be a money focus going on there. Let's clarify and see what that's about. Okay, but I do feel like from the card itself, it looks like you're going to be able to face somebody eye to eye and it's kind of like, oh, hey, how are you doing? Kind of energy. Okay, so let's see what that's about. What's gonna happen my Gemini's romantic love life for September 26th to October 2nd? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. 
it's very interesting how my intuition is kind of drawing to these two cards here. I know we're moving on to the second day there, but it's almost like there's a person that's on the outside of this situation that's kind of observing this and has very strong chemistry and passion. And it's like, they're almost getting ready, I feel like, to kind of approach you coming up in the, the first couple days there. It's like, for me, this King of Wands is really kind of like, it's the, he's sitting there and he's like, whether we're talking about male or female here for whoever this resonates with, but it's like this King of Wands is like about to kind of get up kind of like has that I'm like oh I better hurry up because I don't want to lose this opportunity because it looks like Gemini is looking at someone else and I don't want to lose this opportunity so I better just make a move here that's what it feels like with this king of wands energy he's like looking over and he's like yo I better do something about this mm -hmm. so yeah it looks like you guys may be celebrating with family okay or uh, possibly people at work here with the Ten of Pentacles energy, or there's some kind of uh, money aspect to this for some of you guys, because obviously this can be the card of foundations, okay, so like possibly some of you guys are at some kind of conference, or doing something with foundations, or doing something where money is involved, okay, possibly. This could be a restaurant too, you could just be having a good time on this day, okay, because it does look like there's a lot of socializing going on here, it's like a lot of you know, drinking and like a lot of good times going on there with the Ten of Pentacles energy. Now, it could be around family with the Ten of Pentacles energy there, but I'm going to get more information in a minute here. So let's see. What's going to happen with my Gemini's romantic life September 26th to October 2nd? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Uh oh. Okay, I wasn't expecting that one. Okay, so it's somebody from the past here coming out. Ex-partner. Mm. <laughs> Memories of the past, something to do with the past. On some kind of Renzab situation with an ex-partner and having a good time. And okay, we see families could be involved with this. Okay, Ten of Pentacles energy. Okay, on the 26th Gemini. Okay, so we got the King of Wands. Okay, this person looks like they are about to get up and, and check you out. Uh, they want to have some kind of sigh of relief here, okay? <laughs> because they're missing you. Okay, so that must be the X that's kind of like, all right, I'm about to get up here. What's going on? Gemini is interested in someone else? Okay. So we see you're getting some kind of spiritual messages or signs. Are you really hopeful on this day on the 28th? Ooh, I see you guys are getting a visitor or you're getting some kind of message. Okay, remember this is like the Amazon guy, okay, or the post office. Okay, so you're getting some kind of letter message or some kind of good news, okay? That's really hopeful to you guys. Let's say what that's about. <gasps> they feel bad about what's happened. What did I tell you? That must be the King of Wands, the Aries said Sherry Slew energy. I miss you, Gemini. I regret what happened. And look at that, they're like ready to get up. Like, Gemini, I'm not gonna lose you. I want this back. I want this back. Okay. Now I see what you're saying here. You're like, do I really want to get caught up in this mm, situation? It's like they're circling you and you're like, eh, I don't know. Do I want to get trapped in this? Okay. All right. So we got the temperance card energy and we see that there is this healing energy, this patient energy, wanting to bring things into balance. And we see there's where their luck starts to change here. Remember we saw at the bottom of the deck, Gemini, the luck card. Here we go. There's the luck. It starts here, the 29th. Okay, so we see that on this day, we see there's a soulmate connection, wants to heal the situation, wants luck to turn in their favor. Okay, you guys are deciding, well, I want to be by myself. I want to have a sense of independence here. I want to focus on myself on this day, you know, and, you know, possibly work on work or do something for yourself here. Maybe go shopping for some of you guys. Okay. I, that's what I feel like in this card. It's like, oh, I want to go out, spend some money, go shopping, go have a good time here. Just be by myself. Okay. So we see on the 1st of October. So this is where I'm telling you guys when I was telling you in the beginning. There's a sudden situation that's about to go down for you guys. Okay. Someone, uh, maybe while you guys are out having a good time or through friends, this is like, this is a joyful energy. It's going to be happy, joyful, sudden action here. Mm-hmm. What did I say? Oh, friends. <laughs> yep. And uh, yeah, sudden action is about to be taken towards you. And they're about to present you with an offer. Cage of Pentacles energy. Mm-hmm. And this is a friend. 
And now what are pentacles? Pentacles could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy, could be a younger energy for some of you guys, or they could be coming off that way. Um, or it's just, there's some potential here with this friend, okay? And what are pentacles? Money, family, children, long-term. So some kind of potential situation happening all of a sudden with this friend. Oh, wow, you guys are out socializing. I told you. <laughs> I told you it was really unexpected at <laughs> the end of this week. I was like, where do I get to this, okay? All right, so you got, you got it all this week. That's for sure, Gemini. You got the, the ex-partner talking about, I miss you. I regret what happened with this relationship. You're kind of like, I don't know. Maybe I want to be single and available to pursue. Then you got this situation going on with this friend when you're out you're socializing. Okay, you got it all. There's some kind of good potential though with this prime with the page of pentacles coming out. So let's talk about what's your love interest feeling for you. So we see the lover's card. They want a relationship with you. They've been waiting to speak their truth, okay? If this is the same person. Mm -hmm. We see, yeah, they wanna be with you. Mm -hmm. They feel like there's this healing energy. Mm -hmm. This is the card of wanting to be with somebody. Both cards came out. <laughs> This is, a, this is, I want to be with you on a date with, date with you, okay? So, or I just want to be with you. There's also a commitment card, but we're not seeing that card. But definitely this person wants to heal the connection. They're waiting for the opportunity to speak their truth to be with you, okay? Yep, they want a happy outcome, Gemini, because they have uncertainty. Where do I stand with Gemini? And we see, I want to make an effort. What did I say, right? So then we got the hangman energy coming out, the hangman energy. And you get the surprise. What I tell you, this is actually, it seems like you guys got two surprises coming up this week, right? You got this surprise and then you got this surprise, okay? So the surprise of this X energy, right? Possibly when you're around family and stuff like that or something around children with the 10 of pentacles energy. And it's like this situation comes up and then we got this sudden situation with this friend. Okay, so you got the surprise. I'm gonna have to make a sacrifice. I'm stuck, I'm stagnant. Oh my God, what am I gonna do? And you're kind of losing hope, like, what should I do about this situation? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's bring this all together. Gemini, I love you. I want love and devotion. I keep thinking about you. I really want to come, overcome these barriers to see the light in the tunnel here. I want to heal the situation. I want to travel towards you. I want this to happen fast, sudden. Okay. Mm, there's the reunion card coming out. <laughs> and then we also see this pleasure seeking situation that happens and you get some kind of text message letter or document there you go mm -hmm. and that's happening on the 28th i feel bad blah 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 okay so go further i want love and devotion i want a reunion with you i want a commitment engagement or marriage or a reunion or commitment or renew our marriage okay for some of you guys i want to bring things into balance you know, I've really been thinking about you. I have such a good time with you. And you are gonna have to make a decision because there's a lot of stuff coming in here very soon, very fast, okay, and very sudden, okay? So there's that text message letter document. And presenting an opportunity to you guys. Mm -hmm. And this person's very obsessed. So they can't stop thinking about you. And there's this chemistry and passion, king of wands. And money and finance are a potential opportunity for a long-term situation and to heal and resolve this issue with family. Okay, you're cautious and defensive. You're just like, okay, what do I do here, right? And you're just like, uh, all right, I, want, I don't know if I wanna talk with them about this right now because I'm at a crossroads. Gemini, I have feelings for you. I love you. And it's like, uh, I don't know. And I don't know if they're telling me the truth, you know. I don't know if um, I, I, I don't know if I, I can deal with this right now. I want to keep this hidden. They're trying to make a power move. You're feeling stuff spiritually here, and trying to make a de best decision when it comes to long term here. With the uh, but then we got this new love coming in, okay, which is a friend. <laughs> it's gonna be one on weeks, okay. You know, Gemini. I want to hear from you guys in the comments below, okay. I love you guys so much. If you guys like that, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys another day or two. There's multiple reasons you guys to go check out right now. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon.